Hi, and welcome to your social studies lesson for today. We are continuing to study famous women who have impacted the world for Jesus Christ. And um, this is the last book I'm going to read to you on the Gutsy Girl collection right here. And this is a famous woman that is actually still alive today. And um, she's famous for um, studying space and um, science. She loves science. And so I'm going to read a little bit about her. Um, we call her an astronomer. So she likes to study stars and space and uh, science as well. She likes to talk about how God and science connect when a lot of people think that they don't. So this lady's name is Dr. Jennifer Wiseman. Now, deep in the Ozark Mountains of Arkansas, Jennifer lived on a farm. Now, Jennifer knew about God, and it was in nature that Jennifer discovered God's creativity. A shell to protect a turtle? That's brilliant. Beautiful underground caves. A bug that crawls on top of water? You're kidding me. She loved nature. While exploring on the farm, Jennifer became interested in animals, rocks, reuniting furry families, Jesus, and especially outer space. And we're studying outer space and the planets, so that's a great connection, text to self-connection that we're doing, we're studying planets. One day while watching a television show, Jennifer learned about a moon of, on Jupiter with hundreds of erupting volcanoes. Volcanoes in space? How cool is that? How can that be? The idea of a volcano on a moon set Jennifer's imagination ablaze. In the evenings, Jennifer walked with her parents and her dogs along quiet country roads. While her parents talked, Jennifer stared at the stars that stretched from horizon to horizon, and she imagined. What would it be like to visit a star? What would it be like to walk on the moon? What would it be like to explore space? Encouraged by her siblings, parents, teachers, and church, Jennifer dedicated herself to learning more and more about space. She didn't keep that knowledge to herself. Each time Jennifer learned something new, she shared it with others. And now for your viewing enjoyment, it is my pleasure to present a black hole. This is one of her research projects that she did. Jennifer learned that there are hundreds of billions of galaxies in the universe with hundreds of billions of stars in each galaxy. She also learned that stars aren't just beautiful to look at, they're God's factories, and he uses them to create what we need to live. The more Jennifer learned, the more she knew that God had been very, very busy sculpting the universe. Jennifer also learned Psalm 19, 1. The heavens declare the glory of God. The skies proclaim the work of his hands. This is God's handiwork when we look up at the sky. While, in, while she was in college, Jennifer and her college, colleague, Brian, discovered a comet later named 114P Wiseman Skiff. This comet comes back into view every six and a half years and looks like a big, dirty snowball that forms a tail as it comes closer to the earth and to the sun. Throughout her life, Jennifer met others who thought people needed to choose between science or God. Jennifer thought this idea was sillier than a sunny day on Neptune. She knew that everything we learn from science actually shows us God's stunning handiwork and his creation. Today, Jennifer works with a variety of telescopes, some on the ground and some in space, which takes pictures of planets, 
stars, and colorful clouds between the stars. She travels to share what she learns with other scientists, students, and people everywhere. Jennifer also leads conversations about God and science. She has made it her life's work to be curious and explore God's creation. While studying the universe, Jennifer discovered the depth of God's power, patience, love, and creativity. While some people look only to science to answer hard questions, Jennifer knows science was never meant to answer all of our questions. We all have a lot of questions about God and a lot of things we're just not meant to know yet, but we will someday. Even with all of her knowledge in, about science and space, Jennifer knows that the most important truth doesn't come from searching skies or reading books or experimenting in laboratories. Instead, it comes from a relationship with God. And Jennifer understands that the God who filled the heavens with stars in the same, is the same God who knows, loves, and guides her. And he guides you too. And that's pretty gutsy. Now, sometimes it's fun to get fun facts about um, people that we read about. So here's some fun facts. She is an astronomer and studies stars and planets and outer space. She was born on April 2nd, 1965. She is the youngest of four children. Now, she loved to explore, but she had such a deep love for God's creation. And in the summer, she would swim, and in the winter, she would just love to be outside and doing all those activities outdoors in the winter, too. And although she developed a love for science as a young girl, she loved Jesus even more. Jennifer belonged to a loving church where she learned about God's great big love for her at a very young age. Her two favorite accounts in the Bible are the birth of Jesus and at Easter, his resurrection. In each case, Jennifer loved hearing about how God shined light into the lives of his people, and even she even mastered the clarinet. By the time Jennifer reached high school, she was almost six feet tall. That's pretty tall. She played basketball, marching band, flag team, discus throwing, and um, today Jennifer works hard to help people learn about space and learn about God. She does this by sharing what she learns with scientists and students everywhere. Thank you.